I know my job. Yes, we kind of have these photos. My name is Roy Woody, and um, I've been in the Del Valley area since 2008. My name is Edna Obregón. I lived in Del Valley for eight years. My name is Jessica Hernandez, and I lived in Del Valley for um, say about 10 years now. My name is Claudia Gersendorf, and I've lived in Del Valley for a year and a half. My name is Daniela Gutierrez, and I have been a resident of Del Valley for 36 years now. I have three children enrolled in Del Valley District. My youngest son, um, Lando, he's uh, in the first grade, and then my oldest daughter, Taylor, she's in eighth grade. I currently have two in high school. One is in seventh grade, one is in, or two are in first grade, and I have one in um, kindergarten. I have a uh, sophomore and a sixth grader at this time. I have um, one child, my seventh grader, doing in-person learning because uh, virtual learning is not an option this year. My kids are doing in-person learning all my three children are doing in person. Both of my children are doing in person. My kids are doing in person learning at this time. I also have uh, my three smaller ones doing virtual learning um, for the time being. My biggest worry for uh, my kids this semester is COVID. You know, that's the biggest worry I have right now, you know. Catching COVID and getting, getting it and uh, bringing it home. Um, we have a lot of family members that uh, have health issues and uh, it's taken a lot, a toll on all of us. I'm always worried, you know, are they social distancing? Are they, you know, washing their hands? Well, I know they're washing their hands, hopefully, <laughs> but, uh, you know, are they staying masked up? My biggest concern that I have for my in-person child in, at Ojeda Middle School is, um, him catching COVID <laughs> and bringing it home to my little children. I have two that have asthma. My, my daughter who's in sixth grade and my son who's in third grade, they're both asthmatic. So that's my biggest fear. You know, if they were to catch COVID, what would happen, you know, with their, with their breathing system and now with all this other Delta and all these other things happening with this virus, it's just, it's very scary. We're learning every day, something new. Uh, my biggest worry with my kids entering this semester is um, really the amount of uh, students that we have at the school. I like that Doe Valley uh, has been keeping us informed of everything. Um, I keep very good communication with my kids. They do tell me that they clean a lot. The measures I would like to see put into place um, for it would be for the state to step in and, you know, uh, actually off offer uh, comprehensive, uh, you know, at home learning for parents that, you know, feel like that's what they want to do. And, you know, that's their choice. Offering um, virtual learning for all the children that are 12 plus. I think it's something that absolutely has to happen. To see the staff not so overwhelmed right now, um, I feel like they're overwhelmed with the amount of students at the school. So um, they're not able to, I guess, give the attention that the students do need. Enforcing the masks, uh, more distancing. I know that's hard being the situation that now we have new students, which is the freshman body coming from different middle schools into one building that's just one high school for this whole area here in Del Valley. I guess teachers, you know, going through that, that process, um, of getting tested or getting vaccinated, um, you know, would, would put me at ease to, 